Hey, it's JP with Retronyms, and welcome back to IMPC Prologue. Here, every week, we take a look at the latest features from the fresh development build of IMPC Pro. This week, I want to take a look at the effects that you can find in the mixer. So we're back here on the mixer page. And basically, you know, we've looked at the mixer before. Uh, I've shown how to send reverb and delay and chorus to the effects. And this week, I want to take a look at how to actually tweak those effects. OK, so first, I'm just going to like uh, solo these drum tracks here to get a, a kind of cleaner signal. And I'll tab to effects. You know, basically, a lot of the pages have two modes to them. So you know, program, song, all these things have multiple modes. Uh, so in the mixer is no different. You know, we have a effects page, so I'll tab to that. Uh, and basically here we have a boom room, reverb, echo, delay, whirl, chorus, flanger, and an inner app effect, which I uh, will talk about a little bit later. Uh, so uh, let's go and add some reverb to the drums here. So basically now you can see it's sort of responding to that. And like on the top row here, uh, every effect kind of has the same thing where there's a power switch. You can turn it off real easily. Uh, and a return. So these effects are send effects. They're basically sending to varying degrees from each mixer channel into the effect. The signal's routing through the effect and being returned back into the mix. So the return knob sets how much uh, is actually returned. So you can dial it down across the whole mix. So the boom room itself, um, we can take a look at the parameters here. You know, basically, first of all, there's this Buddha statue that's kind of uh, our signature uh, reverb uh, icon here. And when audio passes through him, he, he sort of emanates these uh, spheres from his forehead. Um, and the main parameter is this boom knob. So basically, a big boom is a big room with tons of bass boost. down to a smaller room. So you can adjust kind of like the basic base parameter here with this. On top of that, there's a filter where you can adjust high and low kind of uh, uh, EQ a little bit. So if I want to get more high out of this. And then pre-delay, which is basically kind of the first bounce back from the wall you get. Uh, I can turn down the mix here so you can hear it a lot. So basically, you just have to play with these parameters to get the sound you want. I'll turn that off for a second and uh, add some delay. So uh, a lot of you are probably familiar with delay. It's basically just a, a clean uh, sort of musical echo. Um, this is a tempo syncable delay, so I can either have it on sort of arbitrary seconds or tempo. Right now, it's second to tempo. So I can go down to 64 notes or a 30 second note here. Feedback, obviously, is the amount of time this ring rings out. And dampen is a filter over time. So if I turn that up, you can hear it. You know, it's like filtering out. And then, obviously, dry, wet, how much uh, dry signal is no effect, wet is fully affected. So. OK. Uh, and finally, a chorus flanger. I'm going to turn on another uh, uh, track here sort of get that, turn up the chorus. So it's basically an LFO, again, synced to the tempo. Uh, so you can sort of hear. Kind of warping the sound. And you can get like really dramatic effects out of this or very subtle kind of chorus effects. Delay and feedback, similar again to the, the delay effect. OK. So, and finally, uh, I'm really excited about this. We have an inner app effect. This is just one of many inner app audio uh, uh, techniques we're supporting in IMPC Pro. Uh, and this is the first one we're showing here in IMPC Pro Log. Uh, so, I'm really excited about that. Basically, uh, you can just tap this to add any third party standalone effect unit app that you want. Uh, I've got two installed here, um, and I'll just select this Swoopster. And then back in your mix, there's a new knob here. So once you've added an inner app effect, you have an inner app uh, effect send. So I'll go ahead and turn this up. Oh. 
And so now we're hearing a lot of this kind of like grungy fuzz from this uh, uh, special fuzz, fuzz flanger. So I can go ahead and tap uh, the app to bounce over to its interface. I'll kind of tune this up. So now I can just tweak my mix further. And all of these effects are automatable as always. So with this, I can do things like. Okay, so that's it for the effects. I uh, hope you enjoy this and join us next time. Make sure to subscribe to Akai Professional and Retronyms, and I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.